Hello, welcome back to Lauren Hardy Memorabilia and Chaplin Collectibles. In this video I've just got some random items that I've just been going through my uh, cabinets and uh, seeing just various collectibles that I've got and uh, just various just little bits and pieces that I'd like to show. There's a lot of sort of silver and gold items that I have that uh, I'd like to class as like a sort of a jewellery section but uh, just before that, just starting off with just these just random random items and uh, I've got these two these two items which are napkins and birthday plates on uh, Lauren Hardy another fine mess it's your birthday have a great one and uh, this again is um, uh, Larry Harmon Picture Corporation and uh, it's got dated on the side here 1987 so they're a few years old and they're still completely sealed and never used so yeah, it's a great little uh, item and collectible to have and then um, I have these which I've never taken them out the packets which are from the 70s 1970s Lauren Hardy bed sheets um, never been used so these are pretty much brand new, they're so still in their, their packaging. So I'll uh, just leave them as they are and uh, just great to add to the collection. And then just moving on from that, I had this pin which I did speak about in uh, a, a video just a little while ago regarding the pin badges which was this one, which was the very first club pin badge and this is a, a replica or a good copy of one of the original pin badges and uh, I was able to find this article which is from um, an older Lauren Hardy magazine which is 2005 and uh, so this is like 15 years old now so uh, it's amazing how time goes around when you spend this long in the Lauren Hardy club but it's given me a bit more information when I look back on the uh, information that was in this magazine and uh, you can see this photograph here of Lauren Hardy holding a copy there of their club badge and they're also wearing the pin badges there so it wouldn't be like pin badges of today they'd be more like a straight pin and it went straight down into a jacket so really nice little pins they're wearing of the very first official Low and Hardy club, all that we know of. Um, it just says here, uh, Stan Low and Oliver Hardy, how much star comedians take time off from their current feature picture, The Bohemian Girl, to admire their Low and Hardy badges just received from the continent. So a uh, really nice shot there. And then on this side, they received a huge postcard, which it just says in here, um, it just says uh, that's on the postcard it's got from the Olympia Theatre to Paris on the occasion of the first big meeting of the season 1935-1936 the members of the Low and Hardy Club France take pleasure in sending to their figureheads and friends their sincere affection and meditation so um, so there it is when it all started and then this here is a copy in that photograph of a club uh, like club card membership card and uh, it just says further down what is beyond doubt though is that a low and hardy fan club had been set up long before the Sons of the Desert was formed it wasn't just limited to France uh, pictured right is a membership card which is this card which shows that the club was also established established in Spain so um, and just jokingly it's got at the bottom here so in the future when fans worldwide gather to sing we are the sons of the desert they may have to change the lyrics to we are the grandsons of the desert so that's, that's uh, quite funny to read that at the end but uh, but that would be really nice to only the original um, but there it is so a bit of insight into original club um, pin badge 
and uh, the uh, official first Lohanardi club that formed in, uh, in Europe, in France, and also in other countries around Europe as they were very popular um, overseas as well, as with all the foreign language films they did. And, uh, and then on from there, I've got these really nice Lohan Hardy cufflinks, they're solid silver Lohan Hardy cufflinks and uh, they're just really, really nice in detail and uh, just overall presentation. Um, I don't think I'll ever be wearing them, they'll just be on a, a display piece. And then there was this that I, I got not so long ago, which was um, really unusual. I've never come across it before, which is comedy classics. And uh, I didn't know what it was at first uh, until I looked more into it and realised it, uh, it was actually a belt buckle. So it's, it's solid metal or silver. And uh, at the back, it's just got ultimate on the back there, just the bottom there. But uh, it's a nice solid belt buckle with uh, headshots on. A really nice unusual piece there and then I have this which is a Sons of the Desert like coin or medallion it's got like a ring at the top there so you would wear it maybe as uh, some sort of form of a necklace so uh, as far as I know I think it's pretty old um, that's quite unusual a little bit different and then you have this which is um, a silver bar which is um, this is 1974, and uh, this is the the uh, golden age of comedy. So uh, really nice sort of cartoony shots there of both Lowell and Hardy. So it's a silver art bar, 1974, and uh, it's made from one troy ounce of uh, 999 or 199 fine silver, and uh, those markings are all on there, and you've got just markings on the back there. Um, it's a really nice, unusual piece, and I need to clean it up actually because it's silver. They they do show the dark marks over time, and uh, and then there's this one, really nice coin. Again, cartoon shots on the front there, and this is a, a gaming token or coin, and uh, this is limited limited edition collector series. And again, 999 fine silver, uh, Grand Casino on the back there, Collector Series. So a really nice example there of a Lauren Hardy Collector coin. And then um, I have this one. I'll just take that out of its packet. And this is a gold version of Lauren Hardy coin. Really nice. Headshots there by Flor and Hardy, and then this is the silver one which comes in its original uh, casing. And you've got the Statue of Liberty there, and then on the back, you've got Grand Seal of the United States in God We Trust. So, a uh, really nice coin collector's coin there. So, that's a silver one. And that one there is the gold, gold example. So really nice and uh, rarer collectors items. Um, and then just to finish off this video, I was just going through some of my cards again, and uh, I found all these cards. And there's about I counted them all. These are all my membership cards, Law and Hardy membership cards. And there's 20 here, and I, I think I joined around 1999 properly, uh, joined the club. Um, so it's a lot of membership cards there. So uh, if there's anyone out there that can beat my record, then let me know. I'm sure there's a lot of members that have been in the club a lot longer than me. So um, it's quite surprising actually until I check them all out and realise how many I've got. And that's, that's a, lot of, uh, a lot of cards. So, um, so that's it for this video and um, hope to do more very soon and I hope everyone is keeping busy and staying safe and everyone's families are safe at this uh, hard time and um, keep positive and keep smiling. Okay, bye for now.